Well, hey guys, welcome back to the Dream Lab. I hope you'll enjoy this episode. We are going to practice interpreting a dream a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna be challenging those of us that are here in the lab, but I'm also gonna challenge you. A lot of times you get to pause the video and take as long as you like to interpret a dream. I wanna encourage you. I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes here I want you guys set a timer for 10 minutes and try to work through this dream in 10 minutes time. Because often when you're interpreting dreams, let's say you're, you're not in a setting like this, you're out on the street or you're having a conversation with a friend or a coworker or a family member, you don't get to take it back and, and, and spend a, a long time working through a dream. You get to get the main points and you get to get it very quickly. And so it's another part of our skill that we can develop and grow in. So I just want to encourage you with that before you even hear a dream. So you're thinking that way. But we have a dream from Camisa. Why don't you come on up and share? Okay. All right. So I had this dream within the, in the past week. I was in diving school and the coach wanted me to run some drills first. So instead of swimming, he wanted me to run so that I would have the endurance to swim. And then in the next scene, I was at high school, and there was a girl with, in the color guard in, um, in front of the band, and she was twirling a ribbon, and she was going before me and around me. And it was like I was observing her. Um, and then she crossed a bridge, and the, there was a band behind her, and she was in a hallway before she crossed the bridge. And then I went to a restaurant, and I think my kids were with me, but I'm not sure. There were other people there. And... I ordered food, but we were skipping class and I needed to get back because I was driving and it was time to leave. And then at the end, it was time for a proposal and the groom built an island in the middle of a huge body of water to propose to me. I crossed the water to get there, but I don't know, he went before me and I don't know um, how I got across the water. It was supposed to be a surprise that he was building this island and I looked around when I got there. It was beautiful. It was time for a proposal. And it was actually my ex-husband who was the groom who was um, building this island. Um, somebody had helped him build it. There was hills or grass or something everywhere. And it was so green and lush. There were trees and flowers. I, and I couldn't see the seams where the land had been joined together. And somebody was showing me around the island. And I don't know how I got there. I don't remember how I crossed over the water to get there. And I wasn't wet, I was dry. They showed me how long it took for it to be built and it was perfect. And then Christy <laughs> helped Chad, the groom, make the island for me, the place where he was going to ask me to marry him or propose. And, and I got tired of waiting and considered writing him a note to leave there so I could start doing other things and leave the island. But I decided to stay and I woke up. All right, so let's see if we can remember this one. So it starts out, you're gonna be taking some diving instruction. You're going to a school to learn how to, to dive. And the instructor tells you that you need to build up endurance and strength and he wants you to run instead of swim because it'll actually help you to swim better. And then the next thing is in this school setting, where there's the, the band and the color guard, and you're at the front, kind of, but there's this woman that you're more observing that has one of the, the flags, ribbons, and she's twirling it around dancing and dancing around you, twirling it around you. She goes across the bridge, but there had been a hallway before the bridge that crosses over and then after she crosses over, that's when it switches to the island. A restaurant. To the restaurant. I there's, forgot the restaurant. Then there's piece. a restaurant. I think my kids are with me, but I'm not sure. Okay. And they're skipping class, and it's time to go. Like, All right. They're skipping class, but it's time for everybody to get going. And that's when you go to this island. You get to the island. You know that the groom has gone ahead of you to prepare the island. And you get there. Everything's perfect. You don't know how you got there because you're not wet, but you're there, and you're seeing it. You know that someone was helping, that it took a long time. Everything was perfect. You can see the hills. You can see the trees. It's beautiful. It's green. Everything is, is great. 
and you're waiting for the groom to come back to propose, but there's, it seems like it's taking long and you think for a second about leaving because it's taking so long, maybe I'll just leave a note, but then you decide, no, I'll wait. And that's when the dream ends. And then where the land was joined together, where he built the island, there were no seams. It was seamless. Okay, it was seamless. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. Yay. And of course, this is the one that I said we're gonna do a, a quick a quick run on. But that's the fun thing. You never know what kind of dream you're gonna get when someone gives you a dream and you get to run with it. So 10 minutes, guys. Go ahead, you can stop the video, come up with your title, your focus, your sub-focus, just a couple details. And again, if you've only got 10 minutes, you're gonna keep it simple. You may not get every little detail, but what's the main point? Why did God give this dream or this dream? Answer that, come up with a basic message, and when you're ready, start your video, and we'll see you in about 10 minutes. Well, welcome back to the Dream Lab. I hope that you had your timer set and that you are ready to go through what this one means. So let's start out with a diagram. What, what do we title this dream? Proposal? Prep for proposal, okay. That is supposed to be a P with an R, not an R and an R. Prep for proposal. Okay, so who or what is the focus of the dream? The dreamer, yes. That is our focus, and let's kind of start at the beginning and work our way around so that we're keeping kind of the scene separate. In the first scene, what are our sub-focuses? Yeah, so we could say diving school or coach. I'll start with a diving school and put the, uh, the coach or the instructor off of that. Coach is easier to spell, so we will use that instead of instructor. Anything else? The drills, yeah. So, and I'm just gonna write run, just as the, and that'll help us remember that she was supposed to run instead of swim, which seems odd for diving school, right? That helps you to understand what that would mean in the dream. You always wanna pay attention. Well, that kind of seems out of place. That gives it extra meaning. The out of place is a key this is something that has a, a specific meaning. Okay, good enough for the first set? What's the next scene? Yes, the high school. And I'm just gonna write high school band instead of separating those. We've got the color guard. That's a detail. And then the, the lady with the ribbon that's dancing all around the dreamer. And then kind of off of that was bridge hallway. Now, we have a theme. Running seems a little bit out of place in a diving school. A hallway seems a little bit out of place in that storyline. How do you get from being outside to going through a hallway to being on a bridge? So again, there's a, there's, it's like an exclamation point on the metaphor of that particular element. Okay, next scene. Children, 
Um, and I'm just going to put in quotes now, like knowing it's time to leave. Now's the time. We're, we're almost late, basically, is that sense. Okay. What's next? The island, the island yes. Yeah, so there's a knowledge of a groom that we never actually get to see. Okay? What else? Yeah, the, the traveling. How did I get here? I uh, don't really remember getting here. That might have some meaning um, if there's a place for it in the diagram. You could maybe put travel as a detail, and that would help that, that piece of it. Because uh, elements, details, all the details are not essential to the main point of the dream, but they all have meaning. But you have to figure out the main point of the dream before you start adding all the details in, because if you put the details in front of the subfocuses, you lose the main point of the dream. It'll tilt the main, it'll tilt the main point of the dream or it'll cause you to, to be harder and harder to see it. And so you have to be careful with how much you get into the details until you get the main point of the dream. Is there anything else that was key here? Yeah, so no seams. Yeah, and perfect. Okay. And I think that gives us a good feel for, for that. And then I'm going to put one more thing. I'm going to write wait, and we will remember. The thought is, oh, maybe I should just leave a note because it's taking a long time. No, I'll go ahead and wait a little bit longer. So I'll just put that word wait and we'll remember that whole piece. Make sense? Now, a lot to the stream, but you've got four scenes. So one of the things you want to think about, each scene is its own paragraph. You don't want to take a sentence out of this paragraph and put it into this paragraph. You've got to do each paragraph and they go in order. There's a reason why God put that order to this dream because the interpretation has that order. So, let's start out with the diving school. What might a diving school represent? Going deeper. Going deeper. Okay? What do you mean by going deeper? So, deeper, going deeper in knowledge. Why diving and not um, tunneling, mining? They're both going deeper. What, is, what would the water be talking about? Spirit. So this is talking about going deeper in the spirit. Yeah. All right, deeper in the spirit. Okay. Now, what's the difference between swimming and running? It's an endurance. One's out of water, one's in the water. The endurance, you build up, right? They're both endurance, right? If you're going to swim for a long time, you build endurance. If you're going to run for a long time, you build endurance. But what's the difference between the running and the swimming is the fact that one's on the land and one's out of water. Now, if the water represents the spirit, what would the land represent? The natural life. The natural life. The way to get prepared for the spirit life is to practice in the natural life. Is that making sense? Yes. Who's the coach? Yes. All right. Now, as soon as she realizes she needs to deal with practicing in the natural, she transitions to high school. What's high school? Place of learning. Okay? So we have learning. 
What else about high school? What is it about a band? What, what, what might that represent metaphorically? What are some of the key elements of a band that you can think of? High school band. Marching. 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 Right. But marching to the sound in step. There's a unity. There's an in sync that's going on. So it's not necessarily about the classroom, but this is a group exercise going back to learning how to do things together, right? And band has to do with music. So it's talking about unity. It's talking about worship. Color guard, there's a proclamation, right? The color guard carries the banners. Mm -hmm. His banner over me is the banner. So it's the banner of the Lord. And what's the ribbon? Has to do with worship. It's tying it into worship. And what is the worship doing? It's going all around her. It's surrounding her as she walks through this season. What's the season? What's the bridge? What's the hallway? What is that talking about? Transition. And as soon as she gets through this transition, where does she go to? The restaurant. What do you do at a restaurant? You eat, which is talking about receiving spiritual nourishment. There's a season of worship where everything was about worship and learning, how, learning about unity and being in sync. And then there was a season of diving, uh, of, of eating spiritual food. So this, again, it's, it's a learning, but it's a particular type of learning. So spiritual nourishment. Who's with her? So it's about family and what's happening in her family. But there's still another transition for her to go through. What's the next transition? That's the island. She realizes this is the time. We've got to move quickly. We don't want to be late. What is the island? Think about a perfect island. Paradise. Paradise. That kind of sounds like a biblical word, doesn't it? We usually use the word Eden when the Bible says paradise. Another word is pleasure, joy, fulfillment. Who's the groom? It's her ex. If the groom is Jesus, why would the groom be her ex? First love. Back to the first love. There's no seams. What is that saying? It's absolutely perfect. How it all fits together. It fits together perfectly. The whole journey fits together perfectly to prepare a place for her. But if I go and I prepare a place for you, right? So the perfection, that whole thing, She's going to find herself there, and she's not even going to know how she got there. But it was all preparation getting her there. Making sense? That's for most people. It is for most people. <laughs> but there's some very specific pieces that have talked about this last season and the season she's in right now for her. Okay. So who wants to come up and share and interpretation for this, trying to put it all together for the dreamer. We've got a side note, so we'll, we'll come here for a side note. The side note was at the end of the dream, she mentioned she was feeling impatient. 
that she was going to write a note and say, maybe I'm going to leave. So she was getting impatient with the waiting period. Yes. Yeah, and that's a side note. So what would that mean? He was telling her to, to be patient, to wait, that it's going to happen. It's going to come to pass. Yes. Even when she feels impatient, just wait. Yeah. Yes. Do you have an interpretation or a comment? Comment. Okay, we'll bring the mic to you. John, I was thinking too, like that part of her waiting, you know, the, the first part of being able to run and endure was preparation for that piece to wait. You know, that was like key. If she hadn't done that, You've got she to would build have up endurance because you're going deep. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's good. It's really a great way to connect that together. That's awesome. Anybody else? Does anybody want, want to try to put that all together for the dreamer? <laughs> no? <laughs> Did we end up in a different place than where you guys were at? Not really. Some... There's a little bit of shrugging, a little bit of yeah, maybe, and some not really. Okay. Well, somebody's got to put it together for the dreamer. Okay, so Camicia, if I was uh, ministering to you, I would just say Father God has been walking you through, Holy Spirit has been walking you through a time of preparation, and you've been building that endurance to go dive deep with this in the Spirit and all the things that he has for you. And um, you're also probably maybe right now in that season of going crossing that bridge into all the promises and the pleasure and joy that he has waiting for you and um, don't be impatient he hasn't forgotten he's reminding you in your dream that he still has all those plans and purposes for you wow okay hit the main points of each of those four pieces anybody else so the thing that came to me was, you know, you have a deep desire to learn and to go into the things of God. God's put within you that, you know, capability to receive deeper things. And in your lack of impatience, kind of wanting to go and, you know, do those things, God's got a specific path for you to go on. And on that path, it's going to call, it's going to have, it's going to have some uh, what's the word run so you're going to have to have some preparation you're going to have to learn how to do things naturally and be around people that um you know maybe rub the wrong way because iron sharpens iron right so you're going to learn through that season how to minister and how to really develop that relationship with the lord that he wants you to have and there's going to come a time where you're going to there's going to be worship there's going to be uh, you know, learning, eating the, the word uh, and partaking of him, really. Um, and that will cause you that, you know, now's the time to move and it'll cause a transition to break forth. And as you do, because of the preparation you went through, you will wait and have that endurance to receive the promise that God has for you because the word says, I go to prepare a place just for you. And that is your promise. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. So any questions on that dream? Okay, great. Well, guys, thanks for joining us for this Dream Lab. Hope that you found something interesting. We'll see you in our next episode.